Hey Rat Bags, it's Jade. A little progress report today on Small Land. Or I should say lack of progress. Not to be some mad weird hater. I know things take a while in development and some things can change. But it has to be said, Small Land I do believe was meant to have come out at some point in the early part of 2022 after the delay. In fact, it was actually meant to release in early access last year. People unfairly probably call this like a grounded clone, even though Small Land actually started life before grounded. Anywho, I'm just going to get you up to date today with everything they've showed across social media and any more news about the beta that's going on at the moment and potential release. Small Land, it was meant to have come out last year in November, as I mentioned, but a good few months beforehand they announced that they would delay the game until early 2022. Partly down to Covid and partly down to actually getting feedback from some of their alphas, basically to make the game as good as it can be. Small Land actually have a brand new alpha taking place at this weekend, I do believe. If you signed up as part of their MVP program, their playtest program, you've got a chance to try it in the future. Now that MVP program is kind of shut down at the moment while they've got this one active. But if you do go to their website, you should be able to find a place where you can sign up. And I've shown this off a bunch of times in the past. But all is not well. In the Discord especially, there's a few grumpy people. Some people feel that they should have got maybe given a chance to try it out. Others just want to know where the game is and a few other little niggles. All pretty common, all pretty usual stuff. I would say though, now we've got to the seventh month of the year, the fact that Small Land hasn't really given us any other additional details and we haven't had a demo that I was expecting or at least a trailer to have dropped maybe in the last few months. If you hadn't been keeping up to date with the progress, you might be a bit worried about what's going on. But fear not, Small Land is still very much in development and everything's okay. This is the studio's first in-house game they're making, just some things take a bit more time and I'm sure they're trying to work on a few stuff before announcing that maybe another games festival incoming. We've got Gamescom coming up and that will probably be the big one. They are based in Europe, in England, so I imagine that might be somewhere where they would want to reveal a demo and possibly a release date. If they do still plan on having some sort of open demo, that was always what they said last year and towards the start of this year. You've seen new clips shown off from Twitter and they haven't been as active as they were previously, but they are still posting pretty much every couple of weeks or so. In fact, still probably weekly on the actual Twitter. It's maybe only on Steam that they've been not as big on blogs lately. And I guess that's the most important place because that's where you're going to buy the game. And so, yeah, the last post was back in April and that's a good few months now. They have got now a new developer and that was something else I was concerned that might slow progress down and I think it probably did for a little bit. But effectively they've got a new developer on board and maybe that new developer now has decided that the game just needs to go in a slightly different direction or needs a bit of work in certain different places. I was lucky enough to join by Kev Harrison, the previous lead designer of the game. He gave me an interview and we spoke about a lot of stuff. So it's made me really believe that Small Land could have the potential to be a good game. And I say potential because you never really know till it's here. So one of the things they spoke about was increasing the scale of the game. So anyhow, that's some of the stuff I've covered in the past. I kind of want to find out more answers now about the mechanics of the game, multiplayer, stuff like that. Here's what they've shown off recently though. Got a little clip here of hunting a spider at night time using the spider sense kind of deal, which highlights like a sonograph, I guess, uh, creatures and maybe even resources. So even at night time, you'll be able to perceive what's around you. And then we do get another glimpse about combat, fighting some flies, seemingly easy with the old axe, and then taking on some cockroaches. The bugs in this game do look fantastic. They definitely look a lot more realistic than grounded. And I don't know if that's such a good thing because it's got to terrify the bejeebas out of me because I'm not a big fan of bugs, it has to be said. But it all looks good. The armors look great as well. Been one of the strong points of the game. So many different armor sets made out of bugs that will give you different abilities. Some will actually be able to glide and almost fly through the sky using the armor sets. And others look like they definitely are a bit more tanky and more for combat. And we've seen some more of the base building. Quaint little cute stuff. Lots more texture on the stuff. Lots of decorative items like bookcases and storages and chests. And I really like this actually. It's got a really good nice feel to it. So I can't wait to get building in this. Of course it is first person and third person. Got loads of trophies. And again, yes, I know some elements are going to be just like it would be in Grounded. But that would be for any game that you had something tiny. The reason these two are so distinct, I've gone through a bunch of times. In fact, I've got a whole video dedicated to the 10 big reasons why they are different. And both could be good. But effectively, 
Small Land is more focused, I guess, on a sandbox survival experience and possibly taming creatures. You will have the option to ride a lot more of the bugs and being able to utilize them in that way. Whereas Grounded is a little bit more about story, although I would still say it's a pretty hardcore survival game at heart and certainly going through the places both of them obviously have base building as a major component as well. So we'll have to see how they both do that. Will we need bases like we do in Grounded to be protected against waves of enemies and bugs? Or is it purely just for cosmetics and having a decent place to live? But I love this. It's got loads of decoration and stuff. Really twee. I don't know if it will fit everyone's cup of tea though. Like, But then maybe again, Grounded has that problem where some people don't like the cartoony looks of that game. And they definitely prefer the small land kind of vibe. So we'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, the armors, stuff like this, all made out of real world items and stuff. I think it's interesting for sure. It's not a big game made by EA. Like publisher behind it has had some success. But as I said, this is their first game they're making in-house. So that's where we're at, at the moment. They're the only new clips I can show you since the last video I did, where I again took a look at all the progress since then. It's going to be out on the Epic Games Store and of course Steam, and they do have plans to bring it down to consoles as well eventually. So hold in there people, looks like they're doing more testing to test certain features, apparently they had one a little while ago which was to test the claw mechanics of the game, we've got a grapple hook basically and manoeuvrability, and each one of these playtests looks like it is properly zoning in on one aspect of the game, rather than just letting everyone run riot in the full game. News has been a little bit slower than it was, but it's still been there, I would say, a good amount. And yeah, I'm just expecting now, I did think they would see something over E3, or not E3, but now I'm hoping maybe something at Gamescom, which is coming up in the middle of August. And the next question is, when are they going to release? Well, I always imagined it would be early in the summer, but of course summer's like nearly come and gone at this rate. We've got August and September, and then we're looking into the fall season. So could it be at the same time as Grounded in September? Maybe. Maybe they want to go and see if they can kind of take a market share. It seems like madness to launch a game very similar to other games about to release at 1.0, but there is an argument that says that if you have very similar games next to each other, actually players will end up buying both. People might really like Grounded and then they want even more of it quickly after, and so they'll go and check out Small Land, which has gained a little bit of notoriety, etc. Of course, Small Land is very much at the beginning stages. Grounded's at the end of its development, really. I know it will get other content, but it's towards the major points that the content's going to be added. But then you look at stuff in the past, like Titanfall 2, how that launched in between Battlefield and Call of Duty, and it just kind of died, even though it was a fantastic game. So you have to be careful of this. Will they be mad enough to launch in September? I kind of hope not. I really want to devote all my time to Grounded, I ain't going to lie. So I think maybe October or November could be a good time for them. It would be a full year delay though, so maybe they're trying earlier. Who knows? But either way, I kind of expect something soon. Like, yeah, it is gone past the first part of the year now. We were told we're getting a trailer and getting other stuff like the demo. We just haven't had any news. So I know they're working on it and there's no pressure. Things can change. But yeah, it would be nice to get a little bit more info, even if it's just about more of the mechanics of the game, about that multiplayer, whether it's going to be dedicated servers, that kind of info is what I'm looking for. And I'll be there to deliver it to you once we get it straight away. So until next time, Ratbags, hopefully that's cleared up a few things for you. I'll see you guys later.